now let's talk about areas, okay? So areas of polygons. Most of these are pretty easy, so we can just review them. Okay, so the area of a rectangle, you just need to know your length and width, and then multiply length times width, and that's equal to your rectangle. Okay, triangle, you've got to figure out this height here. So let's say that's H. It's just one half. The base, and the base becomes whatever side your height is drawn to. So that's your base. One half of the base times the height. Okay, isosceles. Isosceles is a little bit different because we know these two sides are the same. You're going to drop your altitude down and it splits this opposite side, this little side, the base, into two equal parts. So you can always use the Pythagorean theorem um, to find a missing side if you need to or one of your trig functions if you have an angle down here to find it. But again, you're just going to use one half. In this case, the base is down here, and we drew in height, so one-half base times height. Equilateral triangle. There's actually a shortcut for this one. So we know on an equilateral, all three sides are equal. So I'm just going to call each side S, okay? So there's a quick way, and it's just S squared times the square root of 3 all over 4. And that's a little shortcut for the area of an equilateral triangle. Okay, for a square, squares are easy. It's just side and side. So side times side is just side squared. Now, sometimes you have to use the fact that you have a 45, 45, 90. If you're, let's say you're given your diagonal, you're gonna have to use your 45, 45, 90 rules to work backwards to the side to then find the area. Okay, parallelogram. Parallelogram, let's say you've got a side of, let's say, 4 and 6 again. Okay, you can't just multiply those because that's not your height. So what you have to do is you have to go in somehow, usually using trig or special right triangle, find your height, and then you take the height times the base. So it's like a rectangle, and in this case it would be the height times 6, and 6 is your base because that's where the height is drawn down to is to the base. Okay, pentagon and hexagon. We're going to assume that these are regular polygons, meaning all the angles are equal at the verte vertices and all the sides are equal. So if that's the case, then we can use one half AP, where A is your apothem and P is your perimeter. So to remember what an apothem is, that is from the center directly to the side, the perpendicular distance, the shortest distance from the center to the side. So one half AP, A, which is your apothem, whoops, apothem, and then P is your perimeter of the entire polygon. So P is perimeter. And we're going to be working through a few of those in the prerequisite packet. But you may have to use a little trig to figure out that apothem to, to find the area. So those are your area formulas you need.